Education President Summit 2014. We will now begin the program, so may we please ask you to find your seat and settle down. To begin, we'd like to introduce Brother June Ergiza from the Catholic Education Association of the Philippines to give the opening invocation. Let's all please stand to join in the invocation. Let us all remember that we are in the most holy presence of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God, almighty Father, you are the truth that sets us free. Enlighten our minds to search for that truth so that you may liberate us from the darkness of ignorance and from everything that is unknown and debilitating. Only then can you make us men and women of integrity and made whole again. God the Son, Jesus the Christ, you are the way that leads to the Father. Embolden our hearts to take the road less trodden, the road to excellence, not compromise, and the way to perfection, not mediocrity. Such road is the path you had taken, the road to lasting peace, the elusive peace which men and women refuse to recognize. God the Holy Spirit, giver of new life, you animate us with the life that comes from the Father and the Son. Empower our wills to discern what is just and what is unjust. Give us the courage to be men and women of justice unafraid, fearless, uncowed, to render to each one what he or she justly deserves. God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you have brought us all together today in this summit as presidents and heads of higher education institutions to partake of your way, your truth, and your life. May our lives be one with you so that we can help create, nay, recreate the old world order where integrity justice, and peace may once again reign in the minds, the wills, and the hearts of all. In all of these, we ask the God above us to protect and guard us. The, guide, the God beside us to accompany and guide us the God in front of us to lead and inspire us, the God behind us to direct and goad us, the God below us to support and protect us, and the God who is all present to stay and live in us now and forever. Amen. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please remain standing for the Philippine National Anthem to be performed by Ms. Unica Rojas of Jose Rizal University. You may now take your seats. To give the opening remarks on behalf of Philippine Business for Education, we would like to welcome the Chairman of Philippine Business for Education, Mr. Ramon Del Rosario, Jr. Esteemed guests, university and college presidents, Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good morning to all. Welcome to the 2014 Philippine Higher Education Presidents Summit. We in Philippine Business for Education think that big and meaningful changes in Philippine education are afoot, and we are extremely excited for the times ahead. Let me share with you why. The fact that some 600 presidents from colleges and universities from all over the country have come together to work towards common objectives is a major milestone for this sector. Historically, and if I may be allowed the metaphor, higher education institutions were islands among, unto themselves with the occasional and seasonal bridges that would connect them to one another. While the sense for the need to collaborate existed, the sector was highly fragmented and competition was not to anyone's benefit. However, the K-12 reform and the impending ASEAN economic integration made dialogue and partnerships between schools, regardless of ownership, a sine qua non for continued growth and success. The necess this necessity and an open governance and leadership further enabled pockets of dialogue to prosper. We all saw the first fruit of these dialogues in the 2012 Philippine Higher Education Summit that PBED organized in partnership with USAID, which brought together leaders of industry, government, and the academia. For the first time in the history of Philippine higher education, 40 presidents representing state local and private universities and colleges came together and supported the recognition and creation of a higher education ecosystem of private, state, and local higher education institutions with distinct but interconnected and complementary roles. They say, though, that talk is cheap and actions speak louder than words. Your presence here today all 600 of you, only speaks of one thing. The Philippine higher education sector is united towards a bright future ahead, not just for schools, but more importantly, for our children 
and our country as a whole. This is truly awe-inspiring. We in PBED are very honored and humbled to be part of this process of dialogue and partnership building. Now, you may be wondering why PBED, primarily backed by industry, is interested in and encouraged by these developments. For those of you unfamiliar with PBED's story, we are in fact the product of the business community's decision to unite for education reform. We are fueled by the core belief that the competitiveness of our country is dependent on the quality and competence of our human resources. Towards this end, it is our view that education is key to sustainable and effective human resource development. It is for this reason that we commit our support for this admirable process of unifying Philippine higher education. For it is only with unity that we will gain strength as we all work together for inclusive growth and development. In closing, allow me to thank our, importer, our important partners in higher education reform, the U.S. Agency for International Development. They supported a lot of our initiatives from the nascent stages to fruition. Thank you, USAID. <laughs> Finally, we commend the Philippine higher education sector for your trailblazing initiatives, such as this summit, that we believe will transform the face of education in the country. Congratulations to all. Have a very productive day. Mabuhay, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Del Rosario. And now, to give the opening remarks on behalf of the United States Agency for International Development of the Philippines, please welcome the Mission Director of the United States Agency for International Development, Ms. Gloria Steele. To all the distinguished guests, magandang umaga po sa lahat. It is such a great honor to be with you, with all of you here today. I'd like to thank you for spending the day here to do something that's really special. And I would also like to thank PBED, the PBED board, especially the leadership of Juan del Rosario, for convening this very important summit. The Philippine economy, as all of you know, have been performing spectacularly over the last few years. Unfortunately, as all of you also know, this growth has not translated to concrete benefits for many Filipinos. Unemployment and underemployment figures have lagged behind the uh, GDP growth rates and have cast a shadow on the otherwise stellar performance of the Philippine economy. The jobless growth rate is a continuing problem because as we know, what it says is that the growth has not been inclusive. I believe that your work in improving higher education is an essential piece in making every Filipino graduate not just a participant in growth, but a primary beneficiary as well. One of the most important elements of our support for higher education improvements is our effort to align university outputs with industry needs. This can address the mismatch between graduates and available jobs and can help to accelerate the pace of development even faster. This issue is not unique in the Philippines. As we all know, this is happening in other countries, including in the United States. Every year, thousands of college graduates will not be absorbed into the workforce and will spend many months or even years searching for a job. Unfortunately, in many cases, the jobs, if they find one, will not be for those for which they were trained. This mismatch is a significant drag to the Philippine economy and represents a huge inefficiency. As it currently stands, close to a third of the unemployed actually have some college training or an actual college degree. The Philippine Human Resource Development Strategy has to match the rapid developments in manufacturing, tourism, information technology, and other high-value and high-growth sectors. 
The Philippines will not be able to sustain the gains that it has achieved if it fails to supply the essential human capacity needed to power the industries forward. This is why I believe that what you're endeavoring to do here today is truly essential. It is something that needs to be done. We launched the Higher Education and Productivity Project in 2013. We call this HAP. It is a partnership between USAID and the Philippine Business for Education to address regulatory quality issues in higher education. The project was originally going to focus on the industry academic mismatch at the local level and the original plan was to have the project go on for just one year. It was going to be a bridge to a much bigger higher education project that we were going to launch subsequently. But in the first PBED meeting that I attended, I saw the importance of what PBED was trying to do and I was quite impressed. I also saw that the issues on human capital development were much larger in scale and broader in scope than what we originally thought. It also became clear to me that what PBED is doing is something that we needed to support. Therefore, we extended and, and expanded the scope of the partnership with PBED, and I think that that's one of the best things I've done since I arrived here in the Philippines. I am continue to be very impressed with what PBED has been able to do. Its convening power is something that truly amazes me. And I am so pleased that the convening power is going to something that's really important to make the Philippines, to bring the Philippines where it needs to be. The Philippines is one of only four countries in the world that was selected by the White House to participate in a partnership which we call Partnership for Growth. It is an initiative um, that we engaged in with countries that are willing to work to addressing constraints to their growth uh, aspirations. Our work in education, especially in higher education, is fundamental to the Partnership for Growth because it addresses one of the key constraints to growth in the Philippines. It will help to develop the human capital essential for our robust economic growth. It also, the higher education that is, has a huge potential to make growth truly inclusive here in the Philippines. In closing, allow me to reiterate our commitment to working with you, with PBED, and with the higher education sector of the Philippines. We are honored to be a part of the important movement to enable the higher education system to be a driver of a more sustained and inclusive growth in the country. Maraming salamat po sa Thank you, Ms. Steele. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President of Philippine Business for Education, Dr. Chita Salazar. Good morning. Magandang umaga. Maayong ugma. Maayong aga. Marag kaaga. Ah... Uh, Naimbag maagsapa. Tama ba? Kayat ko ti umisbo. Uh, for those of you who understand that, I will not uh, translate it anymore. Good morning and welcome to our summit this morning. Don't worry, I'm not giving remarks. I'm not giving a speech anymore. Uh, we have a lot, of, a lot to do today and we're running a little bit behind. But during the planning of this event, if you're wondering how, what's going to happen today, during the planning of the event to bring you guys together, I think the organizers, which is composed of the presidents of the different associations, felt that more important was really to give uh, in the, everyone who comes a learning experience. And so we're very fortunate that our morning we have two leading uh, people uh, from around the world, literally, to share with us the changes and developments in education before we go to the actual formal launch of the uh, Unified Higher Education Sector Summit.